what we have are our product FlexTech, part A and part B. I do have two pieces of glass that I'm going to coat in demonstration. I've calculated about 35 or so grams per square foot of glass. Each of these pieces of glass has about a square foot. I tend not to uh, do it too tight, so I'm going to measure out 40 grams total. 20 grams of A and 20 grams of B. The cup I'm going to mix in, a stirring rod for obvious application, anything you need for spreading around. I've got these cheap throwaway foam brushes. So if you have it in containers that have the same size lids, first of all, mark each lid so you don't get them on the wrong bottle. They will be stuck and will be stuck. Part A is the resin, part B is the hardener. Part B has the tendency to crystallize if it gets cold, and cold for FlexTech is about 65 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So when it gets cold, it separates. Before you do anything, that you mix, especially part B. Blending, shaking, stirring, whatever it takes to get it homogenous. Before you use it, the night before or for steady uh, storage, have it in a place that's approximately 85, 90 degrees. Don't go over 110 or 120. And then part B will be perfectly clear and mixed. Before you use it, you should still blend it, stir it, mix it, make sure that there's no stratification that you don't even see. To mix the product, put the cup on the digital scale and then zero it. For my approximate square foot, I'm going to measure out 20 grams of A and 20 grams of B. Keep the lid clean so there's no sticking later. Zero this. Part B is a bit more thin, pours quicker. If you look through that, it's very cloudy. But as you continue to stir with anything behind that is readable, it will become more and more transparent and less oil and water kind of look. You're beginning to be able to see that reading, that, that writing through there. Making sure you're scra scraping the sides of the cup. You don't want any areas where there's nothing mixed. I have time to clean my stirring rod. One final cleaning with a little bit of acetone. FlexTech has approximately 15 minutes plus or minus a little from the time you begin mixing. So if I've already mixed it and it sat for a couple minutes, I've got about 10 minutes now to smooth it on. I will slowly and carefully apply the material. This is one reason why that I mix 40 grams because you'll never get every gram out of the cup. There are tiny bubbles in the material, but generally it's not a distraction. Just a process of trying to smooth it out, spread it out uniformly. You'll notice that the brush marks or the streak marks of spreading will smooth out reasonably quickly. And 
making sure there's no dry areas. You'll notice that as the uh, brush marks disappear, it is smoothing itself out or leveling itself out. Now this brush is a one-time use. So I'm convinced I have everything coated. There are no voids or streaks. So I'm going to lay this down on my rubber mat that I don't need to worry about. Lay this flat and let it cure. For coating my second piece of glass, this is a piece of glass that was slumped. You can see the texture on the glass where it was on the kiln shelf. Uh, you'll be able to see the difference that the coating of FlexTech makes to the texture and the appearance of the glass. A clean cup. Part B, zero, 20 grams. Again, since I like this X pattern. Trying to spread uniformly. Now you will notice as I'm doing this, the surface appears a bit more clear because the FlexTech has flowed into the texture from the kiln. Now I'm fully coated. Now this may look familiar, it probably came with your product. If not, you can download it off our website, but we're not there just killing trees, printing this out for our good measure. There's information in here you need. Information about mixing part B. The cure time. Once you have it on there, like we said, you have about 15 minutes to work with it. After 15 minutes, don't go in because if you start disturbing it, first of all, it won't lay flat anymore and it'll be very obvious where you tried to repair it. Plus the, the material is starting to cure. And if you disturb it, the molecules aren't going to link up properly and it's not going to get hard. Now, full cure at room temperature, we say is about four days. This is a piece of glass that I coated yesterday. It's just a uh, window glass and I can touch it and not get fingerprints on it. So this is tack free, but it's not fully cured. Just to show you, this is the piece that I coated yesterday, <laughs> not fully cured, and it's only coated on one side. Still works, but it's just not as strong. This piece was coated many days ago, also quarter inch plate glass. It's stronger, you can't pull it apart, but This is why you want it. 